Heather, thanks. Uh, this week, President Obama keeping up the pressure on Congress to take action on gun control legislation. Surrounded by the mothers of shooting victims, the president warned against letting the memory of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting fade away. Less than 100 days ago, that happened. And the entire country was shocked. And the entire country pledged we would do something about it, and this, this time would be different. Shame on us if we've forgotten. I haven't forgotten those kids. Shame on us if we've forgotten. So what will Congress be able to accomplish with gun control? Mark Hanna, adjunct professor of media studies at the New School and a former aide to John Kerry and Barack Obama, uh, President Barack Obama, and Deneen Borelli, a Fox News contributor and director of outreach for Freedom Works. Thank you both for joining us. This, look, this is a very emotional topic. Uh, no matter how you slice it, uh, from both sides of the aisle, everyone remembers what happened to the children at Sandy Hook Elementary School, as well as the brave teachers who tried to help them. Uh, so when you look at the president, you know, actually gathered there with, with supporters of his efforts, Deneen, how should the United States react? And, and furthermore, how do you move forward with this kind of program if you can? Well, listen, my heart goes out to all of these families because this was really a horrible situation. But you know what's really outrageous about this, Kelly, is that I think President Obama is exploiting this tragedy for more federal gun control laws. And he isn't proposing anything to keep us safer necessarily. He's proposing bigger government. And he hasn't said anything about going after the mental health individuals where we have witnessed a number of these tragedies that have occurred with people who have mental illness problems. So that is something I think that really needs to be addressed and not just going after trying to make gun laws bigger on a federal level. It should be a local issue. Mark, how do you see this? You've, you've worked with the president uh, in the past. What do, you, what do you think he's trying to accomplish here? Sure, and I've worked with a lot of uh, progressives who have felt passionate passionately about this issue. And with respect to Deneen, I mean, what the president's trying to do here is to, to remind us all exactly how we felt, what we thought on that day. Because if we don't remember our history, we're doomed to repeat that. We, we've seen it in Virginia Tech. We've seen it in the Aurora shootings. Every time we have a massacre like this, people come out, Democrats and Republic, Republicans, say we're going to do something about this. And then nothing ever gets done. It's a lot of talk from Washington. So what the president is doing Absolutely. He's pointing the finger, said, remember what you said the day after. Let's actually make good on that promise to the American people. And he's trying to keep Congress honest because this is their job, is to represent their constituents. The vast majority of Americans support common sense gun, gun legislation, even well, if well, you're Mark, a gun owner. I, yeah, I, I don't want to interrupt you, but based on that point where you talk about the vast majority supporting it, there is a new statistic out there that shows right now that the support for new gun laws has dropped some 10 points. We'll take a look at the graph right there, uh, which would validate what I'm talking about. It's now dropped from 57 to uh, 47 per percent. Uh, uh, does that sway, uh, does that show that there's a swing in the sentiment right now, or has it been that it's gone so on so long that people have forgotten it? Deneen or Mark? I think we can, uh, I mean, I, I, God forbid if we've forgotten, first of all. I mean, the vicissitudes of public opinion polling, we could put, you know, numbers on the screen and, and try to persuade any, any one point. But the, the, the point that Deneen made about the president trying to exploit the tragedy, I mean, you had parents there of he the victims. Of the, the, the let me just let me He's just finish totally my point, Deneen. And no one has okay, forgotten what Okay, well then, do you think the parents? Do the parents of the in our okay. country, and we have a president, the, sadly, who the is exploiting the The parents of the boys and girls that were massacred were also there. Were they also exploiting their kids' death the because they stood behind the president? The president of the United States is trying so, to get more control over our individual freedom. The people who who committed these no, travesties no, no, have mental health issues, and you also have to consider the fact that. And they also had guns. Are very, military can get style guns, guns very easily. So what about enforcing our laws and what about implementing mental health uh, concerns for so that we don't have the situation happen Just again? Because Let me get a question here with both of you because uh, we're going had, to an area please. we're getting to an area where everyone's talking and yet nobody can hear. Yes. So how do we move forward here? No matter how you look at it, something should be done, whether it's uh, trying to change the course of human behavior, which is uh, a very difficult task, 
but something has to be done. So moving forward, what's the common ground, the common solution that we can come up with instead of this debate from both sides of the aisles? Where do we find that common ground and move this forward to make sure that something is done? Yeah, this does need to be sure, moved I've heard forward, a lot. Uh, Kelly. And as I mentioned before, the mm -hmm. mental health issue has not been addressed. The criminal aspect, criminals are not obeying the law when it comes to getting their hands on guns illegally. Stop going after law-abiding citizens, and this should be a local issue. Enforce the laws that we currently have on the, on the books. All right, Janine, let me get uh, Mark in there. Mark, last word quickly, please. Sure. The, justific the justification that Deneen is giving is because criminals are going to break the law anyway, let's not make laws that make military-style weapons illegal for people to carry because people are just going to get their hands on them anyway. I think if, this, if the laws that we can pass are going to prevent one more death, I think it's, it's imperative that our lawmakers consider them like they promised they would. And I think that in, in this day and age, with gun violence as prevalent as it is, All you right. can be pro-gun and still pro-gun safety and common sense legislation. I think this is going to backfire on President Obama politically. Okay. Think about the Democrats who are up for election cares about in 2014 that, as well. He cares so about the and Mark, and Mark, and Mark, we have to stop you there. Obviously, uh, Thanks, you Kelly. guys can continue to discuss this. Maybe we'll come up with a solution Thanks, for this. Kelly. But thank you both, Denise Borelli as well as Mark Hanna. Uh, have a good day and happy Easter. All happy Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter.